Hello, welcome to module 31 of uh, NPTEL point set topology part 2 course. So, having studied the, some general properties of filters, today we shall study convergence properties of filters. For that, we start with a topological space, not just a set. Remember that a filter can be talked on any set, whereas now we have a topology x comma tau be a topological space and f be a filter on x. A point of x is called a limit of f or you can say it is a limit point, no problem, limit of f that is with respect to the topology tau. Okay, so, a limit will not be spoken unless you have a topology, that is important. If the neighborhood system, the entire neighborhood system in X, the neighborhood set of, set of all neighborhoods at the point X, that itself is contained in the filter. In this case, we also say that F converges to X. Similarly, we define X to be a cluster point of F if every member of Nx intersects every member of F. So, here you can see that this is a weaker condition than that one because if Nx is contained inside F, then this property is also true because F itself has that property, finite intersection of finitely many members is non-empty. So, that is why, so that is a weaker condition, this every member intersects every member of Nx. Indeed, all these are copied from what happens for the case of when you, when you take a sequence, take the corresponding limit of a sequence or a cluster point of sequence and look at what, have, what is happening in the associated filter. So, that is the motivation for these definitions. Some observations which are uh, immediate from the definition are the following. If you have one filter F contained in another filter F prime, then F converges to X implies F prime also converges to X. Okay. The larger filter so called larger in this sense okay, also converges to X. So, all the points can limit limits of f are limits of f prime also. Conversely, if f prime converges to x, then you cannot say that f converges to x, but f will be a, x will be a cluster point of f. So, that is a weaker conversion is that. For this reason, the bigger filter f prime is called the sub filter. So, this is some terminology which you have to a strange terminology which you have to live with because this is borrowed from what happens to sequence and subsequence. Okay, if you have a sequence which converges, then every subsequence will also converge to the same point. If a subsequence converges, then the, the point of convergence of subsequence will be only a cluster point of the original sequence. So, that is what is happening here. Secondly, every limit point is a cluster point that I have already told you because cluster point is a weaker condition. Okay. But the converse is not true just like in the case of sequences. So, we shall not bother to discuss it any further. Okay. Limit point is a cluster point, cluster point need not be limit point. The third observation is let x be a limit of a filter. If A is any member of F, okay, then X will be in the closure of that member. X belongs to A bar. So, this is very easy to see, but I have added an explanation here. If not, what happens? If A, X is not in A bar, will mean X is inside A bar complement. A bar is closed, so A bar complement is open. That means that A bar complement is in Nx, but Nx is inside F. So, A bar complement is in F, 
बट ए एंड ए बार कॉम्प्लीमेंट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बार ए बार कॉम्प्लीमेंट इधर वे दे आर डिस जॉइंट राइट सो देर फॉर दैट विल बी ए कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन टू द प्रॉपर्टी फाइनाइट इंड प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एफ सो दैट के नॉट हैपन देर फॉर इफ समथिंग इज ए लिमिट देन इट्स ईजी टू चेक दैट फॉर ईच मेंबर इट मस्ट बी इन द क्लोजर ऑफ दैट मेंबर फॉर ईच मेंबर ऑफ द फील्ड there is one more important remark in fact it has three parts here and we will use it so pay attention to this one now i am looking at a net okay which is a generalization of a sequence so start with a s from d to x that be a net in a topological space x x is topological space x and let us take fs to be the associated filter then the first thing you can check is that x belongs to x is a limit point of f the talk take any point that is a limit point of this s in the in the sense of when the net is a uh, for a net okay if we don't leave x is a limit point of the corresponding filter the second thing is a cluster point of f similarly If it don't leave, that point is a cluster point of F S. So this is precisely what I have already told you that both the definition of limit point and cluster point have been copied from what happens to the associated filter. The third one is very important here. Okay, the association S to F S has the naturality property for any function f from x to y. we have f check of fs is equal to f of f you know curly f of f composite s you take f composite s that is another filter another uh, uh, net take the associated filter that associated filter is nothing but f check of fs okay so one and two are easy to verify the third one is actually a general property it has nothing to do with the net so i should have done it earlier in any case let us check that this is also true so i will take some time to check that f check of fs is equal to f of f composite s okay so here is the proof start with any subset b of y function f is from x to y so things are happening inside y so take a subset of y that subset b is in f check of fs if we don't leave this is by definition of what is f check of fs if we don't leave there exists a belonging to fs such that f of a is contained inside b so that is the definition how to generate f check of fs it is contains all the supersets of all the images of of fs under the map f so that is the definition so b is inside f check of fs if and only if there exists a such that which is inside fs such that f of a is inside b now this is same thing as there exists d belonging to d such that s d the what you call the right ray you can say sd is contained inside a so this is this part is same thing as a belong to fs second part is same thing fa is contained inside b so but this is same thing as there exists a d inside d such that f of sd is contained inside b f of sd is f of a right contained f of a f of a is contained inside b so directly like it's f of sd is contained inside b so that is same thing as saying there exists a d such that f composite s of d which is nothing but f of d is contained inside b but now this is the condition for f composite s okay so this just means that b is inside the associated filter of f composite s so that's all so it's purely point set topological point set uh, thing here there is no topology in this one but this will be useful so i so this is important and this this uh, map s to fs 
is going to be very important. It's a one-way bridge from nets to filter. The filters have much more generalities. You, you, you cannot always come back to the nets here. Okay. So now let us come back to the study of limits and cluster points. A point in X is a cluster point of a filter F. If and only if there is a sub filter F prime containing F. I will read it F prime is rather than F, but I will read it as sub filter, okay, sub filter F prime containing F of which it is a limit. It is a limit for every sub filter, this may not happen, but if 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 it is a limit, this will be it, sorry, it happens that for every sub filter also it is a cluster point, right. So now we are putting a uh, I am actually giving you a the converse of that one also. So, if part we have already seen in, uh, in the earlier remark, to see the only if part, suppose x is a cluster point of f. Okay, This just means that nx, the neighborhood of system, union f, this has finite intersection property. See, within, within nx finite intersection property, which is a neighbor systems, within f it has finite intersection actually. Any member here will intersect any member here is the condition for being a cluster point. So, Nx union F will also have finite intersection property. Hence, we can take F prime to be the filter generated by this family. Any family with finite intersection property will generate a filter. Namely, you now take all the, all the sets which are supersets of some members of that. Okay, that will be our F prime. I have to produce one F prime. Okay, there exists some filter. There may be many more, no problem. The next theorem is about function. Take two topological spaces and a map F from X to Y. Okay, a function actually, sorry, just a function from X to Y. Let X belong to X be any point. Then the following conditions are equivalent. So I told you it's a continuity of functions now giving a characterization in terms of filters. So start with any function, take a point in the domain, f is continuous at that point is the first condition. Second condition is for every filter f on x which converges to x f check of f converges to fx. So, this is a statement. Okay. The third statement is for every net s from d to x, s converges to x implies f composite s converges to fx. So, these are three statements. This statement I could have proved when uh, doing uh, nets and so on, but I deliberately postponed it because these things are can be done much easier once once you go along with the filters also. So the three conditions are equivalent is the statement of the theorem. So we will in you as usual we will one implies two implies three implies one that is what our plan. Okay. Assume that f is continuous at x. Now take a filter f which converges to x. This is the same thing as say nx is contained inside f, right. Let now v belong to n of fx. I have to show that v belongs to f check of f. That is what I have to show, right. Start with a neighborhood of fx. By continuity of f, it follows that there is an open subset u, a neighborhood of x such that f of u is contained inside v. That is continuity. But now u is in nx, but nx is inside f. Therefore, f of u will be inside f of, uh, first of all, all members of f. Therefore, it is inside f check of f. Okay. So, what we have shown is that f u itself is in f check. Everything above, everything above, bigger than that will be also in F check because F check is a filter. So, V is in F check. So, we have shown that 
the neighborhood system at fx is inside f check of f. So, that just means that fx, f check of f converges to fx, fx is a limit. So, 1 implies 2 is over, ok. Let us do 2 implies 3. For this, we use remark 7.41, both 1 and 3. So, let me just show you 7.41, what it was. Just now we have done that, but let me show you that one, namely 1 and 3. The association here, A is a, a limit point of F and only if X is a limit point of Fs. So, this is the uh, statement for, from, from a net to a filter, right. A limit point of S, if and only if it is a limit point of Fs, that is the first one. The third one is association as f check of s equal to this one. So, both of them will be used is what I am going to, what I just told you, that is all, ok. Alright, so let me go back to the proof of this thing, 2 implies 3. Start with a net s from x d to x. Let S converge to this point X. Then we know that the filter F S converges to X. By 2, this implies F check by 3 actually, F check of F S converges to F X. By 2, that is fine. F check of F S converges to F X. So, by this remark that we have seen, F check of F S is nothing but F of, no, the filter associated to F of F, F of composite S, right. Therefore, Again by this remark, we get f composite s converges to f, ok. f x is a limit point, limit of this filter is the same thing as that f composite s the function converges to f, ok. So, that is the 2 implies 3. Now, let us go to 3 implies 1. So, here we will prove it by contradiction, namely if f is not continuous to x, then we will construct a net now, which does not converge to f x, but it converges to x, ok. So, that is the way we are going to prove 3 implies 1. Start with assumption that f is not continuous at x. This just means that there is one neighborhood v of f x, such that no neighborhood of u, no neighborhood of x, f of u will be contained inside v, right, which is same thing as saying that f u intersection y minus v is non active. So, it is not contained inside v means y minus v intersects f u. So, this happens for every neighborhood u of n x, every neighborhood u of x. Now, I choose my directed set D to be NX itself with its usual inclusion, ok, reversal inclusion you have, to, you have to remember that. And S from D to X, I am going to define the net now, is such that each SU is chosen from this non-empty subset U intersection F inverse of Y minus V, ok. So, f u itself is non-empty, non just means that there is some u, some point u inside u intersection f inverse of y minus v, then only this will not, not empty, right. So, check that point. So, by the axiom of choice, there is such a function. So, that function is going to be our net, ok. So, what is the property of s? For each u inside d, d is nothing but n x. S u is inside u also, but it is actually inside f inverse of y minus v also. Where v is fixed, u is ranging over all neighborhoods. To show that s converges to x, we have to show that s is eventually in every neighborhood of x, ok. So, if you w is any neighborhood, choose w itself after that means what w less than u w prime which is same thing as w prime is contained inside w s of w prime is inside w prime by the choice but w prime is inside w so this means eventually this entire 
uh, net is inside W. Thus, we have shown that S is eventually in every neighborhood of X. This means that S is converging to X. On the other hand, it is very clear that F composite S as a net, what is its property? S composite S of U is means of Y minus U, right? For all U, okay, U is fixed. So, V is a neighborhood of Fx. Some after something it should have been inside eventually inside this one no but it is not possible because all the time for all u it is uh, s u f of s u f s of u is inside y minus v is outside v. so this means that f of f composite s is not converged to f x okay so these were some fundamental properties now we shall prove some useful uh, corollaries to these things about products and uh, convergence properties for products. Take a family X, XJ of topological spaces and take X to be the product. XJ is a topological spaces, F is a filter on the product. Take a point X inside the product the filter converges to this point if and only if look at all the projection maps look at the corresponding the filters the image filter pi j check of f you take pi j of f and then take the uh, uh, filter generated by that that is pi j check of f so pi j of x is a point of xj pi j check of f is a filter on xj what we want is for every j pi j check is a limit of pi j check of f. So, this is if and only if. One way we have already seen namely because pi j's are continuous functions general uh, statement we have proved if f converges to x then f composite f composite f check of f uh, converges to fx that we have already seen. So, we have to see only the converse part here. Okay. So, only if part we have seen. Now, we have to see only the if part. <laughs> Let us now suppose that pi j check of f converges to pi j of x for all j. What does this mean? The neighborhood system at pi j of x, this is inside the, the component xj, the topological space xj that is contained in the pi j check of f this this filter this should happen for every j okay but what we want to show is the neighborhood system nx in the product space okay of x that is contained inside f okay for this it is enough to show that the sub base for nx you have to remember what is the topology topology is product topology the product topology neighborhoods at a point are generated by a sub base pi j inverse of u j where u j range is over all the neighborhoods of x j. x j is same thing as pi j of x. So, u j's are in n of pi j of x. You take pi j inverses, take finitely many of them as j range is over different uh, uh, indices here take the intersection okay so that will be those will be the basic neighborhood so this is a sub base okay if this sub base is inside f finitely many intersections will be there and anything bigger than that will be also there so whole nx will be there so that is why this is enough to show that for each j you can you can fix j here this is all j's are taken if that is contained inside the if and only for each fixed j it is contained there. So, I have to show that pi j inverse of u belongs to f if u belongs to n of pi j of x. Okay. So, that is very easy for each u j inside the neighborhood the 26 whatever we have we have we put this one. What is this one? Pi n of this one is contained inside this one. So, what is the definition of the pi j check of f? So, that is what you have to show. When is a member here is 
is here. That is what I have to interpret. So, that implies that this uj is inside pi j check of f if and only if there are finitely many members of f such that their intersection pi j of fi intersection f1, f2, fk, then you take pi j's of that, take the intersection that is contained inside uj. Okay. Because these things are first of all there in the generating thing, sub base to base and then every supersets must be there. This is the condition for members of pi j Chekhov. Okay. So, if such a thing is there, then intersection of f i's, okay, pi j of that is contained in this one. So, intersection of f i is contained in the pi j inverse of. Okay, I am applying pi j inverse on both sides. Here I can just take intersection which is pi j of this is contained in the intersection of pi j's. Okay, that is that is not equality, need not be equality. This is contained inside this one, pi j of that one, pi j of that for this whole thing is contained in the pi j inverse of. Therefore, pi j inverse of j is inside. So, next theorem is a topological space is host or if and only if no filter f converges to two distinct points of f. Remember, when we defined a limit of a filter, we did not say that the limit or something. There may be many limit points, right, in general. But you take a hostile space, it can have at most one limit point, okay. That is not the point. The point is if and only if. So, we get a we, we get a characterization of Hausdorff spaces. Maybe this is the fifth or sixth characterization. Remember that we had several characterizations of Hausdorffness. This Hausdorffness being very important. So, this will keep coming again and again. So, a topological space X is Hausdorff if and only if no filter F converges to two distinct points inside X. So, let us prove this one. Suppose x is not equal to y and they are points of x and f converges to both x and y. Then what happens? nx is inside f and y is inside of f. On the other hand, x is Hausdorff implies that there exists a u inside x and a v inside y and y such that u intersection v is empty. So, this is Hausdorffness. Both u and v are inside f. So, that is cannot happen because then empty set will be inside f or you can just say u does not intersect v that cannot happen that is all. Okay. So, converse suppose x is not Hausdorff then I will produce a produce a filter which will have two distinct points which are limits. So, not Hausdorff just means that there are points x and y not equal to each other such that every member of an x intersects every member of an y. If there is one member here, one member which does not intersect will be Hausdorff. Not Hausdorffness means precisely this one. This just means that an x union n y has finite intersection property. As soon as something has finite intersection property, we know that it is contained in a filter. Namely, the one is generated by this filter, generated by this family. So, that filter will contain, we will have both x and y as limits because both nx and ny are there, that is all. Okay. Finally, we have this big theorem here. Let x be a, any topological space, then the following conditions are equivalent. Like Hausdorffness has many characterization, we want to characterize compactness also. X is compact is the first condition. Every filter on X has a cluster point. Every filter has a convergent subfilter. That is for filters. 
again I have promised you do, to do same things, similar things for nets also, no? So, so two, two different uh, characterizations here, similar one. Every net in X has a cluster point, every net in S has a convergent subnet. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E are equivalent. Namely, these are so four more characterizations of compactness in S. What we have already proved is B implies and implied by C. Right? Look at here. The field every filter has a convergent subfilter. Convergent sub-filter sub means it is a cluster point and conversely, this part we have seen. Similarly, net also. So, this part also we have seen. Okay. So, B implies and implied by C. D implies and implied by D. This much we have seen. So, we shall now prove A implies, B implies, D implies A. Automatically, C and D, C and D will be taken care of. Okay. So, let us prove A implies B. Suppose F is a filter on X with no cluster points, then I have to show that X is non-compact. Okay, so that is the contrapositive of A implies B. This means that for every X inside X, there is an open subset UX such that X is inside UX and UX does not meet some member VX of F. If ux meets every if every member meets every member, then you are done. So there is one member here and one member here which do not meet. That is the negation of that f has no cluster points. Okay, for every x it must happen. For some neighborhood this happens, then that will be a cluster point. For every x, one member ux here and one member here. Ux is a neighborhood of X and Vx is a member of F. They are, they do not intersect, they do not meet. By compactness, we get a finite collection X1, X2, X, such that X is inside union of Ux size. Because for each X, I have got a Ux is a neighborhood, right? So that is an open covering when you range X over X. So take a finite sub cover here. That is what I would take. But then, you look at intersection of all VXI corresponding to each XI here, you have VXI here, finitely many of them. Intersection of VXI, okay, what is it? I see that is empty because union of VXI is the whole of X. If there is a, if there is a member here which will be inside each VXI, it will be in one of the v, v corresponding VXI here. Okay. Each VXI, UXI are disjoint, so there is can there cannot be anything. So intersection of VXI is empty, which is absurd because these are finitely many members of a filter. So that is not possible. Okay. It is not very hard to prove it directly, also. You can try to prove it instead of you know reduction ad absurdum, instead of assuming. F is uh, there is such a filter, then you prove that X is not compact. Okay. So I have used a uh, compactness, and if uh, as we say has filter which is no crucial point, then I have arrived at a contradiction here. All right. So B implies D now. So I have to go to net now. Starting with a net S. Consider the corresponding filter Fs. By B, this filter has a cluster point. But this is same thing as S has a cluster point as seen in 7.41, which we have, we have just done now. So B implies D is already almost done for us. Finally, I have to show that D implies A. So this we have to work a little harder. So let us so please pay attention. Okay, so this way I am I am saving uh, time for instead of proving B implies A and then D implies A. D implies A, B implies D is very easily done. So D implies A I have to start with a family of closed subsets of X with finite intersection property. 
we have to show that the entire intersection of members of C or all of them taken together that is non empty. So, that is equivalent statement for compactness, right. So, this is what you have to show. As in the previous example, now consider D the family of all intersections of finitely many members of C which is directed by the reverse inclusion. Okay. Where is this one? You get this one, the family of all intersections of finitely many members of C. In particular, it will contain this C also. C1, C2 are members of C. C1 intersection C2. C1 intersection C2. Inter In other words, you saturate this C by putting all finite intersections. Okay. So, take all finite intersections of these members. Okay. They are all closed subsets by the way and you take the reverse inclusion. So, that is the partial order there now. Okay. That we case that we have done several times like in 7.5 and so on. So, that is the directed set curly D for us. Okay. So, what is the relation? D is less than equal to E if and only if D contains inside it. D and E are subsets of set of this uh, uh, topological space X and they are members of this now, uh, the members of this family. Okay. Since C is contained inside curly D and I want to show the intersection of members of C is non empty, I am going to do something more intersection of all the members of D itself is non empty because this is a larger intersection. Okay, so, intersection, intersection set will be smaller, intersection is taken on a larger family, so intersection is actually smaller, if this is non empty, if this itself is non empty then that will be also non empty. So, intersection of D such that D is inside curly D, this is non empty is what I am going to show. Now, look at each D inside D, they are non empty by definition because I have taken finite intersections of members of C which has finite intersection property. Okay. So, they are non empty. So, we can take the net to be from x d to x to be such that s d is inside d. So, once again here we are using axiom of choice. So, such a function is there. Okay. So, let that be our s now. Suppose x is a limit a cluster point of s. Okay, suppose it is a cluster point of s. We claim that x is inside d for all d inside capital inside this curly d. Okay, this we have actually seen. I will repeat it because you might have forgotten how it came. Suppose this is not true. Suppose x is not inside some member d belongs to d. Then x minus d is a neighborhood of x. Ah, because each member in the curly d is a closed subset. That is the point. Okay, it is a neighborhood of x. Hence, by the definition of a cluster point, there exists an E belonging to this D curly D such that for all members which are following E, following this D, that means E is contained inside. Remember, this is E contained inside D. Okay. All the SEs will be inside X minus D. X minus D is a neighborhood and the X is a cluster point. So, it has should have. But then this implies now D is inside less than good E implies D contains E okay, and S E is inside E all the time. So, if S E is inside E, S E is inside D, X minus D is contained inside X minus E. Okay. Therefore, S of E is inside E as well as inside S of E x minus E also that is absurd. How can it be in x minus E as well as x? x minus D was a neighborhood who contain x minus E right when, whenever D is contained inside. So, these two these two are contradictory. I have started S C inside E, but S C is now x minus E that is absurd. So, for this 
fit this uh, uh, net which is cleverly chosen this uh, this will uh, this will fail okay so what we have proved is that x belongs to d for all d inside d so intersection of this one is not all right so that completes today's uh, plan model 31 thank you we will meet again next time